So, I've been picking up a few new stories this summer, and I used them all up at least twice <laughs> already. <laughs> so, I should ask what time it is first. Quarter to two. Quarter to two? Okay, I probably have time for a couple quick ones. So, these two guys in these two stories are actually quite different, but they remind me of people that I've known. So, uh, they're really, they're, yeah, they're really cute little guys. So, the first little guy, his name is uh, Jimmy Magoo. He's a, he's a little, he's a little devil. He's about 10 years old, and you know, his favorite thing in the whole wide world is to dance. He just loves dancing, and he'll do it anytime. Anytime he can hear any little beat, just a little tap, 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 and all of a sudden, he's dancing, and mm -hmm. as you can tell, he's not that good at it. He's a horrible <laughs> dancer. But that doesn't stop him at all. Man, he just loves to dance. Well, the town where he grew up, Every year, they had to send someone to the state dancing competition. Now, the state had these really funny rules. You weren't allowed to have a competition and judge who won the dancing or who was sent from each town. They had to have a raffle and they had to put all the city folks' names in. And wouldn't you know it, try as he might, the mayor pulled out Jimmy Magoo's name. Well, everybody said, this is horrible. This He does not represent. This is not going to work for us at all. Well, it might have worked out after all. But let me tell you the reason. Once he got chosen, the newspaper people came. And they wanted to know if he knew, you know, how to dance and and how he was going to do at the competition, how he thought. So they started interviewing different townsfolk, and and to a T, every one of them said, Jimmy <laughs> McGoo is the worst dancer ever. I don't know what this town is going to be seeing up there, what the state's going to think of this town, but he's a horrible dancer. Another guy sitting at the restaurant where the where the reporter had started turns and says, yeah, you know, I think it's his mom's fault. <laughs> She's like, it, it, it's her work. And he was like, her work? What work? Well, she's got this funny little job. Have you ever heard those songs, those rap songs? And they're like, yo, yo, this and yo, yo, that. Well, technically, the FCC has a rule that you can only have so many yo's in one song. <laughs> and that's her job. She has to count how many times the word yo is used in these rap songs. Well, this was only a part-time job for her because she's got two ears, you know. And so, and it wasn't making enough money to support Jimmy's dancing habit. So she got another job. Now, this is also a musical job related to the country music industry. I don't know if you've heard country songs, but there's a lot of crying. Just <laughs> sad, sad songs. And the American Psychological Association has gone to the government and said, all this crying is making the whole country sad. So from now on, we need to limit how much crying is done in a country music song. So, his mom got both of these jobs. She's the crying yo counter. <laughs> and what she does, it's really a genius plan. She has two MP3 players, you know, those little music guys with headphones. And she puts one headphone in one ear and one earpiece from the other one in her other ear. And she was doing this as a young mother, rocking Jimmy back and forth. And guess where the other two earpieces went? <laughs> Jimmy grew up here in rap music and country music his whole life. Every time his mom held him. And that 
my friends, is why Jimmy is such a bad dancer. <laughs> oh, well, that explains everything. <laughs> so, there wasn't any way around it. They, they had to send Jimmy, and so he went, uh, as every good citizen that gets chosen does, put on his best show, just dancing away, ruining everything for everyone, everyone else. And, all the other dancers were a little excited because they knew at least they weren't going to be the last place. <laughs> and on the bus went home, his mom kind of knew that he was a little disappointed and said, Jimmy, how do you feel about that? About not winning? And he said, oh, mom, it doesn't matter because I got to dance. And that's what I really love to do. <laughs> All right, so that was a cute little story I found in um, at the library. Uh, in a, you know, it's been a while ago, so I'm not even sure all the details. But I found it in a little magazine article, and um, a professional, a professional writer, and um, 